everybody, it's Trish here from Pinky's Farm. Today is Friday and it's time for Friday Sews. Now it's been a minute since I've done a Friday Sews. In fact, it's been at least two weeks and I have a really good reason. And that is because um, I have had back-to-back -back fun weekends with my friend Jen from Today and Jen's Sewing Room. Now we all know that Jen is the creator of Today and Jen's Sewing Room and she always doesn't want to take the glory for it. She's like, it's a thing of its own now, but I think it's important to tell her thank you for creating this venue for us to all get together because I have created some unbelievable friends for life and including her. Um, we have just had so many fun weekends together. I'm fortunate that she's in Florida so we can get to each other pretty quickly. And um, we have another weekend coming up, not that far away, so. I'm going to do another video that tells you all about our fun weekends together because there's just too much to put in one video for two weeks worth of information. But what I do want to show you today on Friday Sews is all of my makes for the past about two and a half weeks. I've made a lot of stuff and um, in between having company and doing stuff I managed to squeeze out a bunch of dresses and a pair of pants and I don't know what happened that got me so motivated except that preseason football came in and when preseason football came along football season just always gets me in the mood for fall and fall gets me in the mood to sew so that's the only thing I can imagine really started this whole thing so let me show you the stuff that I've made I'm gonna start with this little pair of pants right here this is a favorite pattern of mine simplicity 8841 and I made this little, right here, this little tapered version that kind of rolls the bottom. And um, I got this fabric on a sewing weekend, or not a sewing weekend, on a shopping weekend with Jen and with Michelle from Michelle Sews Again. And these little pants has the pockets here. And it's just a white, I don't know if you can see the, it's like optic white with a little kind of bubble print on it. I love them. They are a really good fit. The only problem is, if you look at the way these pockets are done, you know, there's the slash that you put your hand in on either side. Well, I accidentally put mine backwards. This is supposed to go over here, and this is supposed to go over here. So, um, I did not want to rip out all of that serging and stitching and my elastic and everything because they're sewn in on the side and on the top. So I'm going to be wearing them like this, just because I'm not going to undo all that. The pants fit. They look cute. The shirt covers it anyway. So, hey, stuff happens. You just got to roll with it, you know. To go with that, I made this cute little shirt. It's got a little pink mixed up in the stripe there. This fabric came from Hobby Lobby. And I made Butterick 5786, and I made this version right here. This is a really simple make. It went so fast, um, and I did a little cheat method on mine. I just, instead of putting um, buttonholes all the way down the front, I just put the buttons on and left room for my head to slip through, so they're actually sewn on. But it's really cute. It's a high-low hem, and um, it just, if you're taller than me, I'm five foot three, so most everyone is taller than me. Um, if you make this pattern, I would suggest maybe lengthening the front just a little bit. On the pattern, it shows that it comes like right to her hip area, and I'm telling you, it was pushing it to get it to my hip area, so um, I know those patterns should be drafted for someone a good bit taller than me, so just check it if you make it. Just just do a quick check and make sure that it doesn't come up too short for you in the front. But this is cool and comfortable, and I think it goes really good with my white pants. Nice, cool, clean look. Okay, the next thing I made was New Look 6340. And I made this version right here without the pockets. Now, I originally did put the pockets in, and they just bloomed out so bad on the side that I just decided to take them out. I may go back in and put some patch pockets in this, but 
This needs ironing so bad. But I got this really pretty fabric at the sewing studio in Orlando. And um, I was on a trip um, with Jen and Michelle when I got this, another one of our weekends. And I just thought this was such a cute tropical print with the little birds and the pretty leaves. And this is a really nice poplin. It's thin, super easy to work with. And um, these facings are making me really crazy. I'm gonna have to go and stitch around them to get them to stay down. But in general, once ironed, it's just a nice, simple little summer dress. And I really love it. And I think in the fall, I could stick a little turtleneck or just a long sleeve shirt under it. And I could, you know, get through the winter with it. Okay, the next thing I made was this really cute New Look 6619. It has a yoke here and then a bar down here at the bottom, and it's a column dress. And I had seen this dress on Carol from So Carol, and it was so cute on her. And I, so I asked her, what is that pattern? And she told me, and I went straight away and bought the pattern and then went straight away and made the dress. So here's my version. I used some just leftover scrap denim that I had for the top. I did line the top, the burrito method, um, and I put that same denim at the bottom. And as you can see in between, there is a gigantic tropical print. This fabric came from Spoonflower, and it's the first time I'd ever ordered any fabric from them to use on clothing. And it's just their cheapest petal cotton, and although it's really cute and I'm happy with the way it came out, it is very crunchy cotton. It's I've soaked it in vinegar. I've used a lot of, um, what do you call that? It's downy fabric softener on it. And it's still pretty crunchy. But fortunately for a column dress like this, you know, you don't need it to be real drapey. So it worked out fine, but there's a lesson learned there. All right, next up, I mean, I got a lot done, didn't I? Next up is my, one of my favorites, Simplicity 8640. And I made this specifically for a trip that I was going on this past weekend where I was gonna be meeting up with Jen from Today in Jen's Sewing Room and Carol from Sew Carol. And we all love 8640. And so we all made an 8640 and brought it with us and we all got together and wore them and I will show you a picture in my next video because it's just too much info for one video. But I will do my weekends with Jen and Carol um, in the next, next video. So hang on and be ready for that. So here's my 8640. Normally I make this out of a woven. And so this time I decided to make it out of double brush poly and it was super comfortable. It was not too hot. It was really nice. The only problem is it came out a lot bigger because of the ease and the stretch in the fabric. So I'm gonna have to go in and kind of tuck these sides in a little bit, maybe even pull in this back seam where it gapes a little bit. But I love the fabric. It has that little touch of pink in there, a little bit of green on kind of a tealish blue background. And um, I think it turned out really cute. I like the way the hem does on it with the little handkerchief kind of hem. And I had super fun wearing it, and I will get a lot of wear out of that dress as soon as I fix it. Okay, the second to the last one I made is this one, Simplicity 8872. And I made this version right here. Now, in a previous video, you probably saw that I was working on it, but I did get it finished. This is my Siamese cat fabric, and isn't that adorable? And I made this little dress for fall. I wanna be able to get a pair of boots to wear with it and take it when I go up to North Carolina in October. Has a little tie in the back, a tear here, a tear at the bottom, and it just turned out really cute and it's a really nice fit. I love the way it just ties up in the back and kind of tucks it in and gives it some shape. This is a crepe fabric that I got from Joann's. Um, Probably, gosh, I'm sure it was before COVID, so it's been a while that I've had that, saving it for just the right thing, and I think it turned out really cute. The last thing that I made, I don't have the pattern in front of me, was Simplicity 0450. This is out of print. The last time I tried to look it up and find this pattern, it was $85. 
So needless to say, my ratty old pattern is, um, I've traced it off and um, my instructions for this pattern are falling apart. It's old, but I just love this pattern so much. Um, it's this one you've seen me do where it comes down and makes pockets and it's just a grown on sleeve, a seam up the back, and it is supposed to have a neckband on it, which that's about, you know, this wide and comes around. I never put that neckband on. Don't ask me why, I guess I'm just lazy, but I just never put that on. This time, it came out pretty roomy, and I don't know if I've lost a pound, I don't think so, um, but it's made from an old shower curtain. And it's this cotton pique, really nice can you see the texture on that but it kind of looks like you know grandma's house coat but that's okay because I am a grandma right so I don't really wear this out but I do wear it a lot around the house it's really comfortable for lounging around and um, so those are my makes for the last two and a half weeks so I feel pretty accomplished because out of it I got I think six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items, and I can actually wear every single one of them. So I'm happy about that. I just have to do that one fix and possibly put some pockets on one. Let's see what else. So I've been having these fun back-to-back -back weekends with Jen, and we have another weekend coming up. She came over. I'll just give you the capsule method. She, she came over for the um, Artemis launch, the Artemis did not launch, and so um, we had that weekend of fun anyway. The next weekend, I met her in Orlando, and we met up with Jen, um, Carol from So Carol, who was in the States on vacation, so we got to spend a weekend with her, and while we were at it, we saw, at the sewing studio, we saw Deb from Deb's Way. So, it was just a fun girls weekend. I have a lot of photos from us lounging around the pool. I have some footage of us in the golf cart and from us de-stashing in my sewing room. So that's all going to be in my next video, so please watch it. And in the meantime, have a wonderful weekend. I hope you get to do some sewing, and I will see you in my next video.